Hello everyone, I'm Brazen Eagle, and thank you for joining me here. So, today, Walmart has decided to pursue an anti-gun agenda, despite them telling you that they are not. So, we have two articles discussing Walmart's lies about calling for gun control. Let's start with the Fox News article here. So, Walmart says gun sales change is not a concession to Second Amendment foes. So, Walmart rejected claims by Second Amendment advocates that it was going to give in to anti-gun lobbyists when it announced Tuesday that the super chain would discontinue handgun sales in Alaska and the sale of short barrel rifle and handgun ammunition nationwide. In a statement to Fox News, Walmart spokesman Randy Hargrove said the store was bringing its ammunition offerings in line with our firearms assortment. He added, We're focusing on the hunters and sport shooting enthusiasts that we've always served. Company CEO Doug McMillan wrote in a memo earlier Tuesday that Walmart will shift its focus towards long barreled deer rifles and shotguns supplying much of the ammunition they require and providing hunting and sporting accessories and apparel. We have a long heritage as a company of serving responsible hunters and sportsmen and women and we're going to continue doing so, McMillan said. On the day of the announcement, the embattled National Rifle Association, the NRA of course, released a statement saying the strongest defense of freedom has always been our free market economy and that is shameful to see Walmart succumb to the pressure of the anti-gun elites. The NRA said the firearm sale policy would force customers to go to competing retailers who are more supportive of America's fundamental freedoms. The change came days after a mass shooting that killed seven people in Odessa, Texas, and weeks after mass shootings in Dayton, Ohio, and a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Walmart also asked customers to stop openly carrying firearms in its stores unless law enforcement authorized it. Hmm. So, Walmart is stopping its handgun sales in Alaska and, of course, will no longer sell short barrel rifle and handgun ammo around the nation. I guess, to me at least, that's a little disappointing because my family would occasionally buy some 223 or some 556 from Walmart, but I guess no more. Now, where I live, of course, there are plenty of firearm stores that sell lots of different types of ammo and other accessories, so at least for me, I'll definitely be okay. But it's very interesting to see that Walmart is asking customers to stop openly carrying firearms in its stores unless, unless law enforcement authorized it. Hmm. Now, this is all from the Fox News article. And you would probably assume that Walmart is ceasing the sale of select firearms and ammo, but that's not the entire story, no. Walmart claims to be not giving in to anti-gun lobbyists and gun grabbers, but Breitbart here tells a different story. So, Walmart bans open carry asks White House to pursue gun control. Ah, oh, they didn't mention this in the Fox News article. Walmart is banning customers from openly carrying guns and is asking the White House to pursue new gun controls. CNBC reports that Walmart will continue to allow permitted concealed carry inside its stores, but will post signs announcing an end to open carry even in states where open carry is legal. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan used a memo to announce the open carry ban. We believe the opportunity for someone to misinterpret a situation, even in open carry states, could lead to tragic results. We hope that everyone will understand the circumstances that led to this new policy and will respect the concerns of their fellow shoppers and our associates. McMillan said that after talking to people inside and outside of Walmart, the company has also decided to send letters to the White House to ask for common sense measures on firearms. He said Congress and the administration should act. Walmart, of course, is also discontinuing the sale of ammunition for AR-15s and AK-47 style rifles and will cease all handgun sales in the state of Alaska. Darn, I like me an AK-47. But on August 15th, 
2019, CBS News quoted McMillan suggesting Congress should reconsider instituting an assault weapons ban. Hmm, what's an assault weapon? McMillan said the reauthorization of the assault weapons ban should be debated to determine its effectiveness in keeping weapons made for war out of the hands of mass murderers. Hmm. Following the expiration of the 1994 to 2004 assault weapons ban, the Department of Justice's National Institute of Justice released a report finding the ban did not reduce crime at all. Wow. So, the Walmart CEO, Doug McMillan, has allowed the company to petition to the White House and Congress about enacting more gun control. How would creating more laws regarding firearms and firearm purchasers stop criminals from committing crimes? When was the last time a criminal followed the law? Hmm. If anything, this could just hurt people from protecting themselves. Now, apparently, even the CEO even suggested that Congress should ban supposed assault weapons, even though that was tried between 1994 to 2004, and there was no reduction in crime. It's almost as if guns aren't the issue. But anyways, this is just a very short video. I just wanted to bring this up because Walmart affects many, many Americans, including myself, and I thought we should all know that even Walmart will step into the game of supposed social responsibility, also known as getting woke, despite pursuing the practice of hurting its bottom line, also supposedly. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Brazen Eagle, and I hope you have a great day.